Hi everyone. So today I'm going to be demonstrating how you can do batch geocoding of street addresses in our simple GIS client quite easily, especially if you have addresses saved in a CSV file or Excel spreadsheet. So to begin, um, out of the box, Simple GIS Client is integrated with the free U.S. Census Geocoder service. So if you have internet connectivity, you can actually um, geocode your addresses uh, with really no prior setup required, uh, simply by using this service. So I could either start by opening an existing project, or if I so choose, I could create a new project using one of the predefined project templates uh, here that already has base map data loaded or even a new empty project. For the purposes of this demonstration, I'm actually going to choose one of the predefined project templates and just create a new project. So I have several that I can choose from. And in my case, I'm going to choose the Stamen Terrain uh, Tile Mapping Project Template. So this will just be a project with this Stamen uh, Terrain Tile Maps uh, already loaded as a background or base map image. These provide a really nice map uh, that are terrain based with open street map data overlaid on top of it. So as I double click this, it creates a new project for me and I see I already have uh, the tile mapping service loaded for my base map. And so I'm going to begin by just zooming in to the area where I know the uh, addresses that I'm going to be geocoding um, fall within so that I can see them as I go through the geocoding process. So now I simply have to select the CSV file or Excel spreadsheet uh, containing the street addresses that I want to geocode. So I'm going to begin by locating my tool which is right next to the street address lookup uh, text box on my toolbar and if I click on this drop down arrow I see that the first selection I have is map addresses from Excel spreadsheet and the select uh, second option is to paste addresses from the clipboard into the map. So in this case, uh, since my addresses are in an Excel spreadsheet, I'm going to go ahead and select this first option. And when I do, I get a file dialog box that pops up. And in this case, I can then navigate uh, to the folder where my addresses uh, are stored, where my uh, address file is stored in. And notice on my files of type filter at the bottom is currently set to Excel files. So if, for instance, my addresses were in a CSV file, I would just need to change its files of type to CSV files uh, so that I would see those files. So I'm going to change it back to Excel, and then I see that I have this one file in this folder called Customer Addresses. And as I double click on this file to open it, I'm going to first be prompted with a combo box asking me to select the worksheet out of the spreadsheet that contains my street addresses. Uh, this particular Excel file has three different worksheets in it and in this case uh, sheet number one contains uh, all of my street address information so I'm going to select that sheet and as I select it I'll click apply and now I'll get a new uh, confirmation box that just wants to know does the first row of data within my spreadsheet contain the field names or column headers um, so I just need to let it know whether that first row is actually field names um, or, or column headers or is it just data so in this case it was the column names or field names next as I click yes to confirm that I get a new dialog box where I need to tell simple GIS which columns or fields actually contains my street address information so you see I have a area for the address fields uh, one for city fields uh, for any state information and also zip code. And one thing that you need to note, and if you read the note at the top of the dialog box, um, it's saying Simple GIS detected you are using the sensor, census geocoder service since we haven't configured a local geocoding database. So in essence for this service I must at a minimum specify a city and state field or alternately I could specify a zip code field. In my particular case, I have all three um, types of data. I have the city, state, and zip code. 
but it's just saying at a minimum for the geocoder service you need again either city and state or alternatively a zip code next I need to tell it what columns or fields contain my street address information so in my particular case my street address has been decomposed into three separate fields so the first field I have is the number which is the actual street uh, number the address number so I'm going to select that and I'm going to add it into my address fields list box by clicking on this uh, button here with the double arrows pointing to the right and then the next field that's been decomposed in my street address is the actual street name and it's named street and then lastly I have a unit column as well which would just contain like an apartment number or suite uh, number so I need to specify these uh, columns or fields in the order that it simple GIS would need to construct the full street address so in this case it would be the address number the street name and then the unit if your street address was in a single column or field that would be fine you would just select that single column and move it over to the address fields uh, list box here but in this particular demonstration in my Excel spreadsheet the address, the street address, had actually been decomposed into three separate columns. So next, after I have composed my street address information, I'm going to select the column that contains the city, and I'm going to move it to the city field text box by using the button again, and then also for the state and then for the zip code as well. Like I said, in, in my particular case, I have all three pieces of information, so I'll use all three of them. And that just tells Simple GIS now where all of this relevant street address information is located at in the spreadsheet. Now what it's going to do is actually create a shapefile to store uh, these addresses once it geocodes them to a lat long coordinate. So I need to enter a file name for my new shapefile that it will create so I clicked on the button with the three ellipses and I get a file um, dialog box again. So I simply uh, select the folder where I want to create and store this new shape file. And I'm just going to leave my current selection. And then I would just give a file name for my new shape file. So in my case, I'm just going to name it my customer points and click save. And now it has the file name of the shape file it will create. And I simply click apply. And now I get a status box telling me that it has submitted 359 records. It has now processed all 359 records. And of the 359 records, it was able to match 294 of the street addresses for about an 82% match rate. And any addresses that it could not uh, effectively geocode or find a uh, corresponding lat long to is showed in the lower part of the dialog box. And it also saves those results to a CSV file located in the same folder where I've created my shape file and it's simply called nomatch.csv. So if I needed to go in and examine these street addresses later, I could just open that CSV file. When I dismiss the dialog box, it's asking me do I want to add the new shape file that it just created to my view? And I'm going to select yes and I see that it has now added a new layer to my map data view document. And I now see the addresses that it has mapped. And again, this being in a shapefile format gives a lot of advantages. So I could uh, view any of the attribute data on any of these points to get the street address information, as well as the lat long coordinate. Um, I could select any of these features. Um, I could run spatial analysis. I could generate buffers around these features, uh, spatial queries, um, all of the the unique things you can do with a, a shape file and I can even change the uh, symbology if I just simply double click on the layer in my table of contents open up the layer properties and go to the legend tab I could come and select a new uh, point symbol that I want to use for these features and as I click apply I now see that I have mapped these points uh, using the new uh, some symbol that I selected so that's really all it takes to geocode your um, addresses out of the box like i said so by default when you first 
uh, start simple GIS and begin a new project, it is set up to use the U.S. Census Geocoder Service, which is a free service provided by the U.S. Census Bureau. And so there's really no setup. Of course, if you wanted to create your own geocoded database, you can do that as well. Uh, Simple GIS certainly supports that. And there is another video tutorial that you can actually reference that shows you how you could create your own uh, geocoding database. So if you had your own data, even you could create a geocoding database from multiple data sources, combining data sources. And it does have several advantages. For, so if you did create your own geocoding database, for instance, if you uh, were running this on a laptop, for instance, in a remote location, you would not require internet connectivity. Uh, you could use it in the field if you so choose. Um, you could use it in conjunction with routing and navigation to locate your addresses and what have you. If you do have or you have created a local or a geocoded database, you will need to configure your project to use it by simply going to the geocoding menu and going to the configuration. And in the geocode DB setting here, you would just click on this button to go and locate the geocoded database that you created and point your project to that database so that it would know to use that database rather than the U.S. Census Bureau's uh, free service. So once you configure that and you would uh, enter that and you click apply, it would save that setting with your project. So if you saved your project, it would now know to use that database rather than the U.S. Census Geocoder Service. And so as long as you reopen that project, it would continue to use that database. So really, that's all I had planned to demonstrate today. Just really wanted to show you how easy it is uh, to geocode your uh, addresses that you may have saved in CSV files or Excel spreadsheets uh, just right out of the box using this U.S. Census Geocoder Service. But of course, you can always download our free trial from our website and give it a try for yourself.